Kirk Smith. Um, a couple observations here. When you go to Walmart or Walgreens out in the burbs, you park there, you're necessarily going to one designated business. That's not true for Main Street. So when you park in front of Kelsey's Needlework, you're not parking in, in her or that business parking space. You're parking in a space used and affecting businesses all up and down. So let me just give you an illustration. This one is a photograph of the Old Town Grills truck that parked in that spot. And they use that. They depend on it. Where else are they going to go to load up their materials? That's right at the same place that's Kelsey's Needlework. They do a tremendous amount of business. This one is Placerville Hardware Store getting a delivery at 8 o'clock in the morning. So when someone tells you that this takes up just one parking space, look at that 16-wheeler and ask yourself, is that one parking space? If you had a parklet there in front of uh, Pop Art, that's the kind of problem you'd cause for other businesses. And last week, when someone was parked illegally in a loading zone in front of Kelsey's Needlework, where do they go? One big 16-wheeler, this is on Friday afternoon, had a double park next to the bell tower. It stops traffic for a long time. That's commonplace. So that's the impact you're going to have on business. As someone who's been to Placerville Downtown Association meetings, I can tell you that the representation about the, the membership being wholeheartedly in support of this is absolutely nonsense. First of all, there has never been a call for what is your response. And in fact, in February at the executive committee meeting, several members were asked, would you put this on the calendar by one of the officers for discussion among the members? And the answer was, no, it's been decided. In addition, um, we had two meetings ago, a member put up her hands and say, let's have a show of hands of how many merchants are here. At the end of the meeting, there were six. As Dave can tell you, there's 270 plus merchants on Main Street who are members of that association. So the people who show up there is a tiny fraction. While there was a presentation about the number of, of, uh, uh, of where the spaces would be given at another meeting of the uh, uh, advisory committee for economic development, there was never one about specifically where this would go. So when, so when the people at the Creekside say it's fine with them, fine, but you're going to cause adverse impact to them. At the, uh, Pierre gave a summary, but I want to show you just, this is a summary of some of the statements I had prepared from the Planning Commission members where they were extraordinarily intense saying, one, to avoid the adverse impact on businesses that should be moved around during that four months. And under the temporary use permit, you, if you're an affected business, have a chance to make an appeal. Could you realistically get an appeal in four months? No. So those are the reasons why, and, and, and we were already told by one city council member four months ago the decision had been made. And again, officers said the decision's been made, so it makes you kind of wonder, wow, when you're talking about all these things, why don't you ask the businesses who are affected, like Plastical Hardware Store and all the other businesses. Oh, and by the way, that, that survey that was submitted that has 36 signatures cited by the members, there was another list that didn't get submitted, so it's about 50. Thank you.